Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's continue our Factorio playthrough. So we are totally full of coal. I may have gone overboard on my coal production. Maybe not. I, I don't know. I mean, it just seems like one of those things that you want to have too much of rather than too little. So how can we make some of this stuff a little bit more automatic? We are trying to build up some research things right now, which is good. Let's, again, continue to go just crazy on coal. Because we can. That's going to depower everything up there. Which means that we need to... We should probably just have a couple of these lines... Cannot insert copper cable. Really? Oh, I don't have. Any, I don't even have room for that. Jeez. So we have a little bit too much stuff in our inventory. We should probably put a find a location where we can store junk. And there's still so much more of this mine. This this copper that we could set up as a mining area. Okay. So where are we going to hide all of our junk that we don't necessarily need right this second? Well, let's. Uh, Put down a wooden chest here. We'll fill it up with stone. And control click to put everything over there. Uh, we'll just that's the stone chest. And then we'll build a uh, couple other chests and we'll plop them down as well. This is the spare copper chest, and this will be the spare coal chest. Now we still have tons of wood as well. Wood and raw wood. What's the difference between wood and raw wood? Did the wood get processed somehow? Hmm. Okay. Really no reason for us to pick this stuff up. I just really like doing it. It's fun. But look at that copper production. My goodness. It's just a constant stream of copper. It just never stops. It's ridiculous. Now that is how you mine copper. Unfortunately, it's all coal-based. So we should probably run some power over there and switch it up to non-coal base. But then again, it's working, and we've got no real need to change it. Looks like we're no longer building stuff, so we should probably queue up some more... What? We can build science pack ones. Alright, so research. We need to build automation. We need... 10 science pack ones, and it takes 10 units of time to process it, so uh, we can research this ourselves. So let's research automation. We're getting no progress in it because we can't actually build it. We need to we need to build some, some science packs. So let's build science packs one, ones. Build five of them ourselves. We need more iron. And this stuff still operates on ancient technology. It uses coal. Pfft. How ridiculous. Can you believe these plebs, these plebs, plebeian machines use coal to work? That is just so much fun. I love doing that. I don't know why, it's just really enjoyable. All right, come on, give me your suggestions. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. You know, like, how am I supposed to make this better? How's power usage doing? Still barely even using it. All right, so... We have five science packs. We can build... Um, so let's build ten more. Five more. Okay. Perhaps it doesn't even start until you have ten of them. Or maybe we have to build the lab. We built a few of them, didn't we? Didn't I queue up some labs? It must be down here. Yeah, labs. Okay, so where do we want to build our labs? Probably just, you know, somewhere. Like, say, here. We'll build, say, one here, here, and here. And we'll get some power over there.
Okay. So these things use like and they use quite a bit of electricity. Don't they? It's kind of kind of varying a bit. This thing needs stuff. We need to put the science packs into this thing. And they are going to be what actually does the research. So let's put some into all three. And we'll queue up some more science pack ones ourselves. Because we're going to need them for science. You know, for reasons. Science and stuff. So what should we do next? Uh, let's clear out the forest. We need more space to build things. I'm glad that I don't have to worry about animals attacking us. I don't really like that part of the game. In most of these types of games. You know, like, oh, zombies attack you at night. Why? Why do zombies attack us at night? Why can't it just be a building game? I like, you know, building stuff. It's fun. So notice how many of these little iron gears we need to make. We need to get something making iron gears, which is why I want this automation to finish. Dedicated to... Hmm. We build more of those. I want to have like 10 labs. That's a lot of labs. I'm going to research all the things. Okay, so the burner inserter, or regular, regular inserters, are pulling iron ore, which is just going in here. This is all stone furnaces, which is kind of okay. It kind of has to be stone furnaces. Um, now, if we wanted to, we could actually expand this whole thing and try to make it so that we've got... Hey, we got a new research. Okay, so we got automation. So we've just allowed for electronics, and we're, now we can make assembling machines and long-handed inserters. Long-handed inserters can reach Instead of just one space over, they can reach two spaces over. So for instance, now these things, um, what we could do is this might work out pretty well. The darn... Okay, so the power things can't really be on this side. Let's, let's try putting them on this side. Let's take all the power things out. And what if we put them over here? That does not reach. Darn. So I want to put long-handed inserters here. They can grab coal, put it in there. This thing will grab copper and put it there. But um, that's not going to work. We build our long-handed inserters already. Hmm. Oh, I know what we could do. What if we built... Okay, so this clearly is not going to help us. Having these out here doesn't do anything. Um, this one can power to there, so we can put a long-handed inserter here. Then we still can't put one here. No, it's just, it's just not going to work. Hmm. You know what we do need is let's build some darn lamps. It's dark out here. Or how do we build lamps? Don't tell me I need to research lamps. Alright, so electronics requires automation, allows for automation 2, automation 3, advanced electronics. The smart inserter can filter items. can be connected to a circuit network. Wow. Some pretty fancy pants stuff in here. Underground belts, fast inserter, splitter. What would be good to research? We should research something, right? Tool belt, effects. Character can use one quick bars. Adds a second quick bar. 
turrets, optics. Hey, let's get optics. That sounds good. I guess the long-handed inserter thing is just going to have to hold off for now. Probably better off having way too many power things than too, too few. The other thing we could do, this might work better. What if we had, okay, so copper goes along this way and wraps around and then goes this way and we have coal going right through the middle. That might work out. Oh, but now they're going to go on the wrong path. <laughs> oh, well, um, hmm. <laughs> Clearly my setup is not working out so well. If the, co if the coal went right through the middle and inserters were feeding the coal out to either side, then I could have copper going around the edges. Copper or steel, I mean, whatever. It's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just gotta think about it a lot. Cannot insert iron. We have too much of that stuff. I have too much, too many raw materials. I'm actually mining too much. More than I can handle. Alright, let's get to work on some more... Let's, we need the automation. We need um, an assembling... We need some assembling machines. Make as many as you can. Go. Quickly. And every now and then you gotta check on the boilers. Make sure that the temperature is getting all the way up there. We've used a lot of the fuel. So, let's see. I don't think you ever run out of water. Pretty sure that that doesn't happen. A very wooded area that this, this planet spawned as. Okay, so where are we going to have like this monstrous production thing? I know I need lots of this stuff for electronics. And we're going to need lots of iron too. So we just, that has to continue no matter what. And right now it's making lots of copper wire. Like, I'd like something just making these things for us automatically so we don't have to spend so much time trying to build them. Because things are going to get more and more expensive. You know they will. Um, so I guess it wouldn't be a terrible idea to just put more stone furnaces down. Do we have more stone furnaces? Stone furnace just requires stone. Yeah, I should just have thousands of them then. So let's grab all of our stone and make tons of them. Just make lots of stone furnaces. Go. Get the burner mining drill again. Do we have more of those things? Or do I use them all up? Yeah, we do that right here. Couldn't hurt to have more stone. I mean... Okay, um... Yeah. 126 for... I mean, maybe that's a bad idea. <laughs> that might not be the best idea. <laughs> I mean, we need some, right? I just have a huge assembly line of co of, uh, of copper, but... 110? That's crazy, right? Surely that's crazy. Let's build, like, 20. And we'll take our boxes. Let these things mine. We'll have lots of stone up there. That's perfectly sufficient, I think. Okay, so we have some of these things. We've got some assembling machines, lots of them. Alright, so assembling machines can craft items that require up to two ingredients. They're going to need power, and we're going to need to use inserters to fill stuff up. So, what if we do just like a line of them? Like 
for now. And let's get some power over here. The power is so haphazard now. I started off being like, oh, I'm going to be all organized with my power. Nope. Okay. Um, so what if we did some regular inserter, inserters, pulled stuff out of the copper machines, and now it's not close enough, and there's no power. Awesome. Well, assuming there was power, what would it do? It's just going to dump them right there. That doesn't help. These things need to be right next to it. Choose recipe for assembly. I want you to make, um, like, copper cables and stuff like that. Hmm. I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time. I think I will take a break and uh, figure some of this stuff out off camera, and then I'll come back, and we'll play a little bit more live. But I, I want to make sure that I'm not just sitting around doing nothing, trying to think. Alright, so thanks for watching. I'm going to take a break here. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you in a bit.